welcome back students uh, so last time we uh, solved a very uh, rudimentary or fundamental um, circuit in which we had only one resistor so in today's uh, problem we will try to solve uh, a circuit which has more than one resistor so this is one of uh, the circuits in which we have three resistors which are named as 3 ohm uh, 7 ohm and 2 ohm resistor with a supply of 24 volt and what we have to find out is the statement is for the circuit shown calculate a i5 which is the total current b v1 which is the uh, voltage uh, across 2 ohm resistor uh, v2 which is the voltage across 3 ohm resistor and v5 which is the voltage across this 7 ohm resistor and the power delivered by the uh, 24 volt supply this is the power th this is an active element which has to uh, provide the overall power so um, uh, before approaching the question we have to look at the nature of the circuit uh, and uh, we, uh, after looking at the nature of the circuit we can easily find out the value of the current which is provided by this source so initially we have to calculate uh, is a circuit which is like this one or we have to convert this circuit into a circuit which consists of only one resistor which is the equivalent resistance of this circuit and um, it is connected with our 24 volt supply which basically is providing us the current i5 so here this is the circuit which we have to um, which we have to convert this circuit to so actually here all the three resistors are in series why are these in series because these are connected in such a manner that the the value of current in these three is basically equivalent so uh, the value of um, the value of i2 is equal to the value of i5 is equal to the value of i1 and that is basically the total current here which is provided by this source so you can see here that this is a series circuit because all the current is flowing to all the resistors so uh, in any series circuit we know that the value of the equivalent resistor is R1 plus R2 plus R3 up to the nth number of resistors we are connected here. So here to find out the value of equivalent resistance here we have three resistors which are R1, R2 and R3 and uh, R1 plus R2 plus R3 and their values are 2 ohm plus 3 ohm plus 7 ohm so the equivalent resistance will be 12 ohm here this is the equivalent resistance here uh, which we have find out so the value of this equivalent resistance here is 12 ohm so to find out the value of i5 again the scenario is like the previous question that this is the sole voltage source here and we have only one passive element all the voltage generated here will be consumed across this equivalent uh, resistor which is v equivalent and this is 24 volt so to find out the value of current here we know that actually the associated quantities with any passive element are three which are i v and r these are the three quantities if we have any two of these quantities we can easily find out the third quantity by using a very famous law which is called ohm's law so here um, again here we can see here that the value of v equivalent is equal to i5 into r equivalent this is by this formula which is ohm's law across this equivalent resistors so um, the value of uh, i5 is v equivalent divided by the r equivalent so the value of v equivalent is 24 volts 
which is the total voltage which is consumed here and the value of r equal to is 2 which ultimately give us the value of 2 and the uh, uh, unit of the current is ampere so this is the uh, total amperage which is consumed here so uh, now to find out the other quantities here uh, let me change uh, the color and uh, make it green uh, okay so to find out the other values which are v1 so v1 is basically equal to i5 into 2 ohm so the value of i5 is 2 multiplied by 2 and uh, this is um, 4 volts according to the um, ohms law similarly the value of v2 is i5 which is the same current across all the elements is multiplied by 3 so 2 which is the value of i5 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6 volt and the value of v5 is equal to again i5 which is uh, similar across all the three elements multiplied by the value of resistance which is 7 so 2 multiplied by 7 is equal to 14 volts so these are the three values which are calculated here uh, let me change the color so um, this is v1 this is v2 this is v3 and uh, as we already know these are the quantities which we were asked to calculate and the values are available here so um, these uh, from these three values we can easily uh, we can easily um, basically prove the kvl theorem which says the uh, sum of all the voltage rises is equal to the sum of voltage drops so here the voltage rise is this voltage source because the direction of current which we have seen is from entering from the negative end and coming out from the positive end and from the uh, passive elements it is coming at the positive end and coming out from the passive element at the negative end which is all always remain same accordingly so uh, the adding all these three voltages which are v1 plus v2 plus v5 and adding them together 4 plus 6 plus 14 and ultimately we will get 24 volts which is also the value of the supply voltage or the source voltage so this says basically that the voltage supplied is equal to the volt the sum of all the voltage drops across all the elements uh, so this is the supplied voltage similarly to find out the power provided by our source which is p of s is calculated by the formula which is the total current multiplied b by the uh, source voltage okay so the value of i t is basically i5 which is the total current in this circuit and the value of supply voltage is 24 we have found out the value of i5 which is 2 multiplied by 24 and the supplied voltage is 48 volts so um, this is another uh, basically um, very basic question in which we have calculated the voltage drop across all these series uh, as a series connected uh, circuit elements if you want to uh, find out the power consumed by each of the resistor you can easily find out it by using the formula i square divided by i square sorry i square multiplied by r or v square uh, divided by r i square multiplied by r and v square divided by r these are basically the two formulas for any passive element while for any active element or a source the formula is given like this one uh, so thank you very much we will go towards more complex circuits in our next video till then thank you so much goodbye